All right, we're over in Groton this morning, uh, starting up a new project. We're gonna do a naturalistic patio, um, kind of very similar to some of the ones you've seen of ours in the past, but we're gonna go real free form with this one. So we didn't really have much of a design, just a little pencil sketch um, for our client, and they seemed to really like the look of that. And based on some of our previous work, they said, just go for it. That's our favorite way to do it. So. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a little fire pit area. Um, pretty much where you see these weeds right here, that should be where the fire would be. Um, the pit will go against the hill a little bit. Some of these larger trees are going to come right out. Um, I'm going to cut down a few of those. We're basically going to take this hillside and flatten it. So we're going to create a big run of boulders in the back corner here. We're going to use this pin out just to kind of frame off the back side of, of, of the area. We're gonna plant a bunch of natives back there. Should look really nice. We're gonna have a stair set lead you out of the patio, right about here. There's gonna be some tiers of plantings done with some bouldering in the front edge. Whole thing should come out probably about this area here. But with the patio height being somewhere in around here cut into the hillside. We're excited to see this one. So we're back in Groton today. Got a fire going. Show off the uh, finished product here. Super happy with this one. We've had a great string of clients over the past few years as we've been doing these more naturalistic granite patios. Um, they've kind of become our little signature style. Um, and these guys were definitely no exception. They kind of let us do our thing. Um, this basically went off a small little pencil sketch and. And we just kind of went from there. So I'll show you around the space. Obviously, fire pit space. Um, we cut about 80 yards of fill out of the side of this hill and inset the whole patio. I mean, the old hill was about here. Um, so it became what was completely unusable space and now super usable space, as you can see. They haven't added the furniture in yet, but that's coming. Um, plenty of room for a few different options, some Adirondack chairs maybe should look really nice. A little more about the stones here. Um, we source all this material. It's, it's local to Massachusetts. Um, we cut everything into these large format pieces. Some of these pieces are 20, 25 square feet. So you get a lot of coverage. When you put those chairs down, there's minimal joint lines. Unlike, you know, your, your more typical bluestone patios, that type of thing in this area. You put the chair down, you don't find joints for those legs to kind of sit in and rock your chair back and forth. So works out pretty nice. We added some stone benches as a surround. So it's dual purpose. These benches also act as a retainer for the earth behind it. So we can plant above them, as you see. Um, we inset some small puck lights to kind of give it theater lighting, if you will, at night. We also uplit a couple of the trees that you can't tell right now in the background to give it a little more ambience. Um, so these benches are actually one stone. Um, we found a, essentially a pancake stone in the quarry, real flat, big, long stone. We had it sliced into sections, so it's actually the exact same stone, um, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of gives it that butterfly feel, if you will. So another of our signature planting surrounds, we went a little bit more natural with this one used a lot of natives um, should basically fill in the entire hillside you won't really see much mulch as this grows in over the next few years should be pretty nice and as you can see it's an awesome spot to sit by the fire um, you know if you're looking for one of these we're kind of the only one of the only companies in new england doing this kind of stuff so uh, feel free to hit us up on rootsrocksinc.com